everyone, and welcome to another Zoom chat in collaboration with SA Rugby Magazine and UXI Sport. Today, I'm very happy to have with me former Springbok Louis Kuhn and new Bulls sports coach Russell Winter. Thanks very much for, for being with me. Um, Louis, let's just uh, start with you. We were chatting a bit before uh, we started recording. Uh, just about obviously uh, the role uh, UXI Sport plays. Uh, you're here to represent SA Rugby and just the, the good work that uh, you want to obviously uh, just chat about and, and some of the things they're doing that uh, is, is obviously playing an important role in our rugby. Yeah, Craig, thanks for the opportunity. Um, yeah, from our side, I think over the past two or three years, the contracting model within SA Rugby changed. And uh, you know, in the past, there were there were a lot of juniors contracted at the, the various different unions, and uh, so let's say a, a good proportion of our school leavers had an opportunity to to be introduced to professional rugby at uh, under 19, under 21 level, and a lot of unions, um, you know, uh, had a good had a good um, base of younger players. But unfortunately, in the past year or two, the contracting model changed, and um, especially last year. Not a lot of youngsters that left school, especially our SS schools players and players that played Craven Week, did not get a contract opportunity. So that was a little bit worrisome for us because obviously you don't want to lose your player base um, because you can think about 500 matrics that leave school that played for their first teams in a very competitive school environment. You don't want to lose that talent. And um, when I was introduced to UXI and their vision um, and uh, what they want to provide for these youngsters. I just thought it was a brilliant idea. And, um, and uh, you know, I got to, obviously I played rugby with Kaze, with Russell, and I, I started uh, understanding what their programs are all about. And it just made sense to me that this is a great opportunity for, for youngsters that does not um, get a contract at a union or can't go to university, get an opportunity in a high performance program to, to develop their skills further and get an education. And also, you know, uh, be be exposed to top level top level competition. So that for me was just a brilliant solution to what I th what I thought and I still think is a is a bit of a problem for us in SA rugby is the fact that we don't really um, cater for those that many school leavers at the moment as we did in the past. Yeah, hundred percent. And Russ, just from from your perspective as well, in terms of the the youth development, I mean, it's uh, I'm sure an area of passion for you. Um, just maybe touch a little bit on, on that and, and just uh, around the, the work of the academies. Um, and South Africa has always been renowned for having this conveyor belt of, of young talent. But um, how can we continue to streamline that? And, and with the assistance of, of companies like UXR Sport, I'm sure fast track some of the, the development of our, our younger players um, and certainly those from less privileged areas that might get lost otherwise. Yeah, okay, exactly that. I think, it's, you know, what Louis said and what you just said, that that we needed to bridge that gap, you know, between the guys. There's so much talent out there in South Africa. There's so much talent in the smaller schools, the schools that don't sort of get the exposure that the big schools get, you know. Um, I was watching a nice documentary on Franco Mostert last night, you know, just saying that, that you can still make it if you go to a small school, but what we're trying to make, what we're trying to ensure is that these kids coming out of school and the, and the youth out there, we don't want them to get lost, you know, we want them to still try to play rugby and make rugby not only a profession, but to do it because they love it and then to do it until, you know, they, they can use rugby as a tool for networking, for just their club, their friendship, their environment that they create around it. So, um, yeah, UXI has, is, is doing amazing work because what, what we don't only we don't only provide these youngsters with great coaching, you know, from Stellenbosch Academy all the way to Free State to over here. There's great coaches here. There's great coaches at the Stellenbosch and at the Free State Academy. There's um they only, they're also getting to study and they're getting to um they they they're becoming men. And unless you're going to one of the top universities that you can get into a, a good uh, a rugby scheme. You're going, to let, you're going to be left in the wilderness to, to fight for your own. So we're trying to bridge that gap and we're, make, we're trying to make sure that the guys who didn't have that opportunity are going to get that opportunity now. 100%, for sure. And Louis, just uh, from your side, I mean, obviously we've had a year where a lot of the, the youth weeks and Craven Week have been affected by uh, the pandemic. Uh, just from your side, in, in terms of how this year's panned out, uh, what would kind of be the, maybe the message to those youngsters who've maybe lost the opportunity of having a Craven Week to 
to be recognized where obviously that's obviously a, a, a platform where a lot of them are spotted and um, just in terms of maybe keeping the motivation for for those guys and and maybe what things they can do to ensure that um, a difficult year is not one that's lost to them in terms of continuing into uh, a rugby career yeah no craig i think for the for the boys that are that are that were in the school system for say from under 15 16 um, I think most most school schools, uh, top schools, top rugby schools, and their coaches does have a good idea as to who are the talented boys. So those players, um, uh, there's a lesson to be learned there. So you don't have, you don't always uh, wait for your matric year to make your mark. You know, you, you need to make your mark uh, from the from a younger age. Unfortunately, it's it's um, it's it's what it is. You have to be uh, sort of. You really focus from the age of 16 now, nowadays to, to make your mark. So I think for the players in top schools, um, most of the unions and they as have been working with the coaches and they've got a good idea who would be the, the players they want to contract. But let's talk about the guys like Russ, like Russell say in the smaller schools or guys that that um, are not on the on the radar of the unions. Um, I think for them, this is a fantastic opportunity to to get into a high performance environment where they will get top class coaching. Um, I always say to them, to Russell and them, I think your first two years out of school is very much also about building your car um, and and preparing it for the race. Um, I think a lot of boys are a little bit impatient that that they would like to step out of school and and play super rugby you know but that's not that's not how the journey works you know it's a it's a pathway that you need to be patient and you need to be willing to build your car over a two to three year period where um, where you need the best people to work with you and build you up and this environment that russell has created yeah has, has really proved that um you know they've got the right people um uh, that that's got the knowledge and the and the expertise to build the car, and um, if a boy if a boy uh, takes a chance on this academy, I can promise him that they will they will walk away uh, really prepared for pro rugby. And um, on top of that, I think they will be prepared for life after rugby. Um, so this uh, this is my message to them in, is a message of hope that um, you may thought now that you're at home and and Premier Week is gone and you don't know what what next to do. Um, you you know, vastly wasn't in your plans, maybe, but you know, UXI Sport has created this this opportunity for especially especially for you that are sitting out there that are wondering what is the next step. So you know, I would really promote and 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 tell the boys that give it a shot. You will you won't be disappointed, and you will get more than what you bargained for. Um, way beyond rugby, um, also in developing your your inner man. I think. Developing your inner man and your your spiritual area, your soul area, um, you know, for your for your life after rugby and for your your your, your life in the big in the in the big world, you know, you need to have that that solid foundation, and this is this is the place where I know you're going to get it. Sure, and Russ, just in in terms of uh, your experiences with with some of these. Uh, you, the younger generation players, what are some of the, the key fundamentals that you think uh, they need to be aware of um, in terms of taking the next step up uh, from school um, and then into junior ranks and then hopefully into senior rugby? What are some of the, the things that uh, every player needs to have in terms of, of making it, whether that be um, in terms of on-field stuff or maybe even off-field characteristics that are crucial if you're going to make it in a highly competitive arena? Yeah, so Craig, if I can, yeah, we've got a, we've, we sort of, we use this, let me, let me hit the nail on the head. Some of these guys, they, they get the exposure or they get ID at a very young age and then they sort of get that, they get that help and mentorship and going through school and then they're on the front foot and then it becomes a little easier, a little easier for them once they leave school. And so it becomes easier, it gets a little easier. Um, so the guys that we, the, there's, there's kids at the big schools that, they can really play rugby. And just, to, just to give them that nudge in the right direction. So the first thing is definitely tough. Um, the, the, whole, the whole process that they're going to go through with us here, the course, everything around it is, is not made tough, but they have to understand that it, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for them to make it. So that's the first thing. And then once they get through and once, they, once they've, they've conquered that, 
um, idea of that they can get through this, then, then, we make it, then we make them accountable. So they have to make sure that um, what they say they'll do. And um, we're, learning, we're learning more as we go along with these youngsters that, you know, the more accountable that we make them, the more adaptable that they'll become down the road. So that, that's the last one, you know. So we, we just work by those three things. We try and make it, we try and make it fun but tough for the, for the, for the students. Um, also ensuring or giving their, their, um, their parents assurance that when they come here, you know, it's not to fool around. It's not to just, you know, have a gap here in the, in the, in the life of, of student life. You know, they, they come here, it's great. we want to make them accountable and adaptable at the end of it all. So, um, yeah, this rugby is, rugby is, for me personally, it's a, it's a beautiful sport. It's a great thing. It's taught me so many things. It's, um, it's something that my boy loves and, you know, I love the fact that it brings you together with friends and, it, it, you know, it broadens your eyes. And so these, these guys that come in here have really got a place in our heart now. We've got an extended family going on here and we make sure that we try to give them the best opportunity possible to make it up there.